Here we are again. Couldn't really prevent this one from running some music in the background, so hopefully it was not too disruptive. Let's get the sound. Ooh, this is... Really? Is it still running? Oh, it's still running. Oh, stop. There we go. Hm. It was just going crazy with those uh, from the soundtrack. Uh, what is it? There was a patch yesterday. Yes, there was. Okay, listen to the sound. That is the beer we talked about. And it's, of course, the invisible beer. Because I'm not going to show beer on the screen, on the stream, because then YouTube will be unhappy. So I chose the invisible color. Cheers. I think Darkest Dungeon is a perfect drinking game to match the stress. All right, but this is going to be tough because we're probably going to run into the thing from the stars. Are we ready? Let's let's go. We're going into the wheel, so let's have a look at the medium wheel run. I'm going to take this, all of it, because I don't know. Wield, we need lots of shovels because there are things to dig up in from the ground. We have lots of anti-venoms because there are some sap and some left luggage. We need some bandages because spiderwebs and something else spiderwebs. We need one medicinal herb because... No, already have that for free. We need three skeleton keys because we always need keys. We need one holy water because I have no clue, but my Excel sheet says so. And no torches. I have no one who is afflicted, so I don't need to bring any blood along. I'll bring a few torches just for... Uh, actually, no torches because I actually want it to be pitch black, so I get the benefit of this one. Cool. Let's dive in. Wish me luck. Here we go. has soaked the soil, sapping all good life from these groves. Let us burn out this evil. Hey, Matus. Thank you for joining. This is awesome. You can help me on some... Whoa, starting off with a crit scout. How about that? Almost the entire base is revealed. Ha, this is crazy. All right, we're going to start walking down here. Then we're going to take this path. And then we're going to see what how it pans out. Alright, I think this is a good team for this dungeon. There are two bleeders and everything here is very susceptible to bleeds. I want to find a long dungeon. Ah, no, 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 no. That's what, necromania, you idiot. Necromania combined with sickly gave you creeping cough. That's 20% damage, you idiot. This is the why we brought the medicinal herbs. For this exact thing. Loki, you idiot. Is there a penalty for not having light? Yes. Up here, the light meter, dim light. Then the stress increases. The monsters start hitting more, start creating more. I get less dodge. And I get more surprised. Bad, worse scouting. All that increases. The only thing that gets better with low light is better loot. And... I also get a better chance to crit. At least it used to be that way. There was a hidden thing that wasn't listed here, but it was. Oh, this this pull is surprisingly dangerous, because the back ones, they this no the weppers mark one, and when they are marked, the spitters deal double damage. So what can happen is mark spit double damage, spit double damage, spit double damage. Having a dot on, you get to death door and dead on your turn. It's going crazy fast. So I definitely need to clean out if I can take some the webbers out before they get a chance. That's a good move. If you bleed, you're dead. You're dead. Great. Okay, you start with spit. Blah. Yes, we are not good. Um, I will try to kill this. If I get a four, you will die. What? That was the wrong skill. Oh, I got the wrong skill. That was the one I should have... Oh, no. I don't... I was locked. Damn it. Oh, dear. 
I will... You need two damage, not enough. So kill here. As the fiend falls, okay, so the that fiend should prevent us from being awesome. marked, which is what deals us double damage. Bite, as long as it's bite without... <laughs> Pig squealing, yeah. See, in this case, I this is why blind fire is so amazing. Because at this point, it doesn't really matter which one I take. Well, it does matter if I hit or not. But the buff makes a big difference on the next turn. Oh, I hate it that I now have only the crap one. That's horrible. I should have had my turn. Another blight. Oh, this is bad. Every single blight has stuck. They are just not good at blighting. Uh, this is a big blight, so... Grab it. Their formation is Take one broken. of them. Maintain now we're up to plus six speed and Okay, you're the last one, so I'll be stalling a bit. Or 22 on yourself. Heal. Good. And I'll just pop one of these and go for the kill. There you go. Hey, Knights of Rainbows. Not a name I've seen uh, before in this stream. What's up? Darkest Dungeon is up. That's what's up. Let's explore this tent. I can't remember. There's nothing. There's just something in here, right? Oh! That was a handsome reward. <laughs> a Tremble Journal 204. We fought in the East Gallery, filled with portraits of our ancient lineage, uncaring witnesses to the slaughter. Alhasred, the fury, the fury heartbeat of our retinue, wrought keen havoc in our enemy ranks. I keenly feel his absence even as I remember voiding myself upon seeing his lifeless body fall, blood pouring from his screaming mouth, some cruel knife having rent his lungs to gore. Yet we were victorious and thus we press on. No! Discretion is a better part of valor. Whatever, come, whatever came from that. Uh, this is 375. I'd actually like to keep it but among all this crap, I think I'll do this. There. Aha! We press on. We press on. Oh, that one. Mm. I believe this is the dangerous sap. Nice. Laden with loot are often low on supplies. I am not too keen on that interpretation. Here we are. A fight is coming up. Ooh, these are the first times we see them. They are both easy and hard at the same time. <laughs> Should I go speed? They're speed 7. You're speed 7. So if we get speed up, that would actually help a lot. Or I can deal some puny damage. Yeah, you're basically going to be doing this mainly. I'll do that one. I don't know if it's a good move. It wasn't really. So, pop that. That gives us more damage. And go. And bleed? No. Three damage? You're at four. Typical. Just deal on a random one. Hopping the speed. Alright, here comes a stressful incantation. 18. And here comes some slime. They have... Cytoplasm, which cytokinesis, which generates one more of them. They also have another one that generates a big one, and that can make turn this into an eternal fight, and that's not good. I can't do anything for the back row. I was really hoping I could, but oh, double resist! You're resisting. You're now doing six damage, but you have eight. Mm. I have to kill the back row. Too dangerous. 
Okay, if I kill, there's a likely chance that they will be attacking. What are you doing? Your bleed resists. Five to eight. This is as a bleed of one, so if I attack the front one, there's actually a chance it doesn't go through. It doesn't kill, but this one should be dead. Yeah. Another cytokinesis. This is what's really problematic. Can we please just do stuff? Your bleed resist, that means you're down to 40, but they are down to 60% bleed resist and I only have 40. So I guess we are going to add more crits. Crits give us more damage. Executed with Executed impunity. With impunity. Awesome. Now again, do I want to attack? Mistakes were made. Be gone, fiend. I should have. I could have killed all slime. Okay, I'd like you to get your turn next time, so you can. Uh, <clears throat> How the hell am I going to do this properly? You're at five. But I need to give you less than 11. This should be, should still be good. Come on. A time to perform beyond one's limits. Heal. Nice. And now it's my turn again. And a kill. Perfect. It worked. So we this did a expedition at least promises success. It does promise success at this point. That was a good recovery of a dangerous situation. These tents are crazy good. I did not know they were that good. Let's look. Blood soaked pages torn from a journal, two of six. My fears are confirmed with our torch doused. By an errant spray of seawater, we were ambushed. Strange fish-like humanoids, hominoids, ambushed us in the sudden darkness. The pitch of the torch caught quickly, and I glimpsed scaly appendages swinging crude weapons, glistening and barbed. They didn't last long with our torch rekindled. Alas, one bit me on the neck before I gutted it. The wound stings and tingles strangely. Our, phys our physic told me to keep it clean and covered. Oh yeah, that's not gonna go bad. That's just... That's just fine, isn't it? I need to keep these in my inventory somehow. I need deeds a lot. I need it more than what? Yes, we need the blood, but do we need it that much right now? I can also just discard the blood. The bust I can live without, I think. Yeah. Excellent. Moving back. This is a long dungeon. I've spawned and wanted to watch sometimes and end up here. Okay, cool. So that was sorry for missing that uh, for so long. So this is, you must be the only one who happened to come here because of Darkest Dungeon, if you're still around, that is. Everyone else, I guess, is here because they usually follow Factorio. If there's anyone else in the chat who is here purely for, because it's Darkest Dungeon, by all means, let me know. I'd like to hear it. Now, I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna skip all of these because I must backtrack. But I also expect that by the time I backtrack, I will have used the firewood and therefore have more room in my inventory. So anything that I can bypass and come back to, I will. The other part of it is, if I have this courier here, then it cannot spawn as a trap, a, a, a random battle or a hunger check on my way back. So by keeping it there, I have a small advantage. Looks cute. Ooh, crit scout. Nice. Ah, if this one is not 
a room battle, then the whole trip down here has been in vain. This is also one that I don't need to pick up. Another hunger chick, that's bad. Another one I don't need to pick up, great. And Ooh, this is dangerous. This could be a Shambler fight. When I have no... When it's pitch, black as pitch, then any room or any hallway battle can spawn as a... as a Shambler with a 1% chance. And the chance increases as the difficulty goes up. It is not a Shambler, yes! Anytime it's not a Shambler, it's a good day. Let's put some... Wow, that's a lot of damage. Sweet. A brilliant confluence of skill. Blah, 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 blah. So you didn't choose. We are basically at six hit points. You're going to deal one damage. And then three more. That's not going to cut it. So do this one. If you bleed, you're dead. You're not dead. Wow, this is so puny damage. I wonder why. <clears throat> Five. Plus one speed. Yes. That's exactly enough. This is one I'd like to use the blind fire, but I need to kill here. This is good. Good first round. Slowly. Gently. This is how a life is taken. <laughs> okay, well I, I Bjorn and Ethan, but you're you're both of them both of you I've seen or heard of before. Especially you, Ethan. But, um... Hmm. But it was just if someone had, like, Knight of Rainbows who just dropped by specifically because, hey, there's a stream. And See, I can stall here for a bit. And that will give us a bit more time to do some healing or need it. Not really that important. But let's top up where we can. New round. More stress heal. And it's just killed. No one, no point in dragging it out. These Gold. Creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. I am not really getting the curios I expect. Holy water. What the hell do you need holy water for in the wield? It's improving a stress heal, or it's the troubling effigy. We're gonna ditch it, and that means we'll get a troubling effigy very soon. Really don't need to take a rest at this point. Another? Oops. Mind that such missteps are the exception. Not the <laughs> Here for the Nilo, staying for the DD. Oh, that's so kind. Thank you. Okay, let's hope for a fight in here. Otherwise, it seems very wasteful to be uh, resting at this point. Oh, so this entire appendage or tentacle, if you want to be following this. Uh, I restarted this uh, this run, Bjorn. So, so uh, it's new hero names. So it's the same hero names. I need one, two, three, four, five, six. In order to pick this up, I need to make room. I don't really need it, but then again, it seems that this could be the hero, the boss. How the hell do we fit in so much? I guess I have to do this. A moment of respite, a chance to steal oneself. No need to go overboard on this. Let's look at some good buffs. This is giving you speed. Mm -hmm. I will definitely do this one. Prevents nighttime ambush. Absolutely brilliant. It also gives me much better chance of surprising them and less chance I'll be surprised, which is good. I can release the hounds would be nice for getting more scouting. One companion gets accuracy and crit. That's a big buff. Who is one who will be attacking most of the time? Guess my flagellant will be attacking most of the time, and that Christian crit would be nice. What do you have? Monstrous damage for yourself. 
or speed for everyone. I think speed for everyone is great. Oh yeah. That's seven we've used. We have five left. Turn back time. I can remove 30 here, so that's three more. Then I have two left. That's not enough for this. But I could also remove 15 and then use the tiger's eye. There. So no additional scouting. But we are also not getting nighttime ambush. That was a good one. That was a good one. Just got home and rewatched the boss fight. Man, I did take a beating. Yes, Dozel, you did take a beating. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. A blazing star. That seems a bit... It's just a torch, so chillax. Got it. More loot. More fat loot for us. More loot. Already looted. Oh, someone went by on our way back. Shh. Okay. Easy, Loki. More heirlooms. Heirlooms are not a lot of money, but it's pretty good at this point. I need it as well. Let's see. No new spawns here. Food check. It's a bit concerning, the food. Or maybe I can take two more food checks. Those are not exactly fat loots we get here. Maybe Hapolos has been by and taken pilfered a bit from this. Wouldn't it be better to loot everything in darkness? Yes, it would. But now I have the light, so yeah, that's true. Should have been doing that. All right, day four. The road to this damned hamlet was a tricky one, both to find and to travel. When it revealed its ruined face, I swore I had never seen such a neglect. Some buildings collapsed and uncaring residents fidgeting uselessly. I went swiftly to the tavern. Others with similar interest had gathered to here, yeah, and I was assembled into an expedition. We leave at the first light of the morrow. We'd read that already. You're absolutely right. I should not have. Uh, I should have looted them in darkness. But then I have some brilliant radiant light. Let's use it. Got to be a food check here. Here we have the fanatic, or the what is it called? The thing from the deep. Are you ready? No. These ones are fast and deal is, have a high crit chance. Hand can cause rabies. Rabies is an amazing ability. Amazing. Uh, yep. Oh, really? Mm, I want to try to get you out before you get a chance. Bleed? Yes, you're dead. Got it. It's better to do everything in darkness. It's less good to burn through piles of extra torches. That's one out of extra loot. Yeah. Even in full torch, you end up leaving behind piles and stuff anyway. And you go no torch towards the end for secret rooms. Yeah. Yeah. Got some damage and got some speed. Do I go first? Uh, which one's more dangerous, actually? I'm gonna be trying to go first and hope that someone else goes here. Ugh, that didn't help. And stressful incantation. Eldritch push. Yes, awesome. Didn't do nothing. Great. As victories mount, so too will resistance. Beast carcass. That should give us some, some food. Well, food should be enough for the rest of the run. Going in here. I really want to fight the boss now. The wandering boss. And at this point, we now get extra, extra scouting from my Houndmaster. Master herself, a victim to the spreading corruption, malformed with misery. Is empty. Food check. Fine. And we have a fight in here. In the darkness. This is more of a standard pull, pull for the wheel. Look at this tree with hands hanging from it. So the, uh, these back here, look at them actually. It is it is a corpse where those are hands and the they're... Look at the hands and the legs. It's a human that's bent over backwards. 
the skulls here and then from the stomach this is blurted out it's disgusting okay so my options are either i get start bleeding the back rows or i start the two ways of handling it they are dangerous when attacking marks because they deal double damage rend the marked groping swipe and rend the marked so rend the marked deals a lot of damage so i can either prevent them from attacking when i get marked or I can prevent them from marking whichever one I think I can deal with first. I think I'm pretty good against the back rows, so let's apply something here. Double bleed, more resist. They're very slow, so I think I'll just put some bleeds on everything again. Look at that, just pouring on the bleed. Um, you're taking five damage. So five more. Let's take them out. One. All right, here comes the pain. That's the mark. And now comes the stumbling scratches. Okay, at least they are marking two of them. That's fine. Rend the marked. Honk. Hurts a bit. I will be trying to move faster next turn. That nah, didn't do much. Rend the mark. Oh, I'm going to start healing here because that's going to take a while to get back up. Let's kill this one, which was completely stupid. I should not have done that. Doesn't deal much damage, but mm, that's not good. Let's start healing. It doesn't do much healing in the beginning, but getting more stuff. Okay. Let's stun one of these. One with the most hit points, I guess. Not that it really matters. Good. Love the sound there. This is probably gonna do... Yeah, Rain of Blight is a bad one. This is a tough pull because I'm not really getting... Digging in with the damage here. Render marked. Okay, at least they're spreading it out. Heal some more bleed. What are we now at? Four. So I still not enough. And this one's five, so you're dead. Fine. Keep healing here. Now at the three. Next time I'll deal four. You can see here it goes up. You are not dead, which absolutely sucks. So speed zero. I'm gonna put it here. Nice. Buff. And I guess I'll stun this one. Can't stun here. What? That's fifty percent chance. There we go. You're dead. You're not dead. I get one attacking. Please attack here. Yes. Good thing it didn't crit. Now I have the option of healing. Thank you. Nice. You are dead on your turn, so what should we do? I want to get a lot of more healing in. I'll just do that one. Stress heal. Six, 13. Probably no fight next to us, so just put on it, either one. Eight. See, able to heal yourself. But we're going to put the heals on the front. And you die in your turn. There we go. Slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. If moon cloak, protection and dodge if torches below. This is not bad. I do have one slot open. I think I'll take it here. So that's protection. And... Scouting? I don't know if the last one is going to be a fight. I am so tempted to ditch my my keys after this. But if I get a secret room, it sucks if I have to do it. 
advantages. How many courios? I have two courios. I want to reserve the capability to get something good out of the courios. Seventy? Fifty? One hundred. We'll go with the one hundred. I know this is off topic, but are you planning on doing more lean videos? Your last one was really helpful. Hey, Inquisitor, thank you very much. You are now the second person who are pushing me to that. I've actually set aside time this weekend to do it. Um, I'm also just... I don't know if I should say this, but... Well, I should say it. Of course I should. I should be honest, and there are only 48 people here, so I can be honest. Okay. I have actually... Uh, signed up for a course with paid for by my own company and the company is paid for primarily through this and, and that's a, a safe uh, what's it called leading safe and safe is the scaled agile framework so this is also me trying to say all right i want to take the gaming side i want to keep working on this but i also want something else to kind of set me a bit apart from other uh, gamers of also having something else but it only I only do that if I actually make videos and do something about it so hey super salami 49 awesome welcome <laughs> and how is the dungeoneering going I'd say it goes really well and trust you me that and wonders can be found in the most tenebrous corners of this place this is exactly where I needed the antidote what happens if I click it without the antidote? I can get a blight. Okay, whatever. I'll, I'll do it. Who has the best blight resist? 30, 30, 40. Here. You're gonna do it. Yeah. Cool. Those 100. Don't want to save those yet. Don't click it. I have someone necrophilia. Necromania. This is where we need the bandages. Mummified remains. Wealth beyond measure, awarded to the brave and the foolhardy. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Wealth beyond measure. I want to ditch the shovels, but I don't dare do it. But I'll do this. Last fight, maybe. This could deal suddenly a lot of stress. They're all speed 8, so if... Nah, they're probably gonna go first, so let's try to get some bleeds in where we can. Can I kill it? No. I wanna take out one. You're doing two damage, so you're at five, and that could deal like one or two, and they deal three on the bleed. It could work, but it's also highly unlikely. How greedy do I want to be? Now, oh, remove one. Here comes the pain. You died. Great. And here comes the other ones. They can deal so much with disease and crits. So far, so far not. Go for a kill or a stun? It's... Let's go for a stun here. Masterfully executed. Nice. That causes some stress relief. And... Just kill one of them. Ah, it was the stunned one. Of course it was the stunned one. Good rush. There comes the crit. Clarified in a single strike. Now I can't kill you before you get your turn, so it's probably better to try and remove some stress here and there. This is going to be the last fight, I hope. Come on, a six and it's dead. And that's a five. <laughs> Thank you. Oh well. Didn't kill it anyway. Just don't crit. Yep. No disease. I'm not dying from this end. Oh, a dodge that sucks. Still? Now you get two more attacks in. Oh, look at this. 
actually getting up to a speed where you start going first and unfortunately can't do anything. It's de-stress here. I just hope we don't get crit. I'm not caring so much about the hit points at this point because I expect this to be the last fight. Success. So oh, I didn't get a scout. Oh, that sucks. Then I don't know. Oh, no tricks of the light. What are we going to ditch? Well, I didn't get a scout, so I'm probably not going to get any more. This one? I believe that's one where if I had some... If I had... Really? It should be holy water and then it cures can't find you. There. Holy water, it removes a negative quirk. I don't have it. Let's peek out here. Should we go should we go forward and maybe get this thing from the deep and who will absolutely kill us, but it'll be fun to try it. Let's do it. We feel overconfident. It's a slow and insidious killer, right? Ooh. Oh. Let's see. He will, dear friend, exemplary warrior and survive a survivor of the night the king's wars, and many stories and many sorties in these halls met an ignoble end. We are weary, Hewell and I, as we searched the sanctuary. Weariness, it appears, has a murderous streak. It blinded him to the me me dispensation. It blinded him to the mechanisms that tripped the spikes which eviscerated him. I held him as his essence slipped away, another giant fall in our mad pursuit. I am alone now, weary but unbowed. I press on. Why would you press on when you're alone? I saw something pop up. Bjorn, 100 Swedish crowns. Thank you very much. About time compensate for your hours of entertainment. Your angel service has been very helpful. Thank you very much, Bjorn. That's very, very kind of you. Uh, that is excellent. And I almost regret mentioning, call, comparing Sweden to uh, the courtyard with all the mosquitoes. But thank you. That's That's really kind of you. For me, what got me hooked was Vanilla Dunright. Yeah, it's also that. It is so crazy in the amount of views I have on Vanilla Dunright. I just, I cannot fathom that I have 250,000 views on the first one. Oh, I wanted the, I wanted this to be a fight. Um, I'm gonna try to prevent this from just going crazy. Here's from memory. All right, that's right around the corner. Let's buff. Ooh, sweet. Good crit. Oh, 12 crit stress stress heals. And just don't crit. Thank you very much. Yeah, about time I to remap it. We're waiting for 0.17. Yeah, I'm gonna have a 0.17 uh, series coming up. And that will be my next vanilla series. Don't wanna get into any more before that. They're not bleeding. Right. So we have one bump in the night. Oh! See, this one is also the difference. The sniper shot cannot hit the first row. But blind fire can. It cannot. The first time to watch your duel, let's play with KOS. Yeah, that's also a common one. Seize this momentum. Push, Push on, on to, to the, the times task tasks end. There's nothing more. This will be empty. We're done with this dungeon. That was not bad. Finding out corruption is an endless battle, but one that must be fought. I think we eked out all the value we could. 14 deeds plus five years. That's 19 deeds. And we also covered our expenses with 14,000. First episode, and I did fall asleep two times. Ha! Huh. It's quite soothing. All right, so. You watched it, fell asleep two times, and you were like, 
All right, this is so boring that I fall asleep two times. I'm gonna give it a third try. <laughs> third time I got finished that first episode. That's pretty scary. It's actually almost exactly a year ago since I recorded that episode. I had it the first weekend of my summer vacation. The kids were just shipped off to my ex-wife. So I had like a weekend and I was like, all right, I'm gonna start there and record the first 26 episodes over a weekend. Doubt. Relevant. Nervous bladder. Bleeder. Not bladder. Bleeder. Nervous bleeder. That's interesting. That's a new one. Lazy eye is horrible for um, for Elendilo. I see something long absent in the sunken faces mm. of passersby. A glimmer of hope. A glimmer of hope. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. But it could be. The resurrection of our ramshackle hamlet has lured brave artisans and merchants who see potential in the vacant lots surrounding the town square. One blueprint awarded. Blueprints? Okay, yeah. The district. The hamlet is growing and news of your presence is emboldening craftsmen to return. You may now construct all new buildings. They are expensive but provide unique bonuses that may help you in your endeavors to cleanse the estate. Here, so there are a lot of them. The first ones are unique to um, to the expansion, the mill, for example. Heroes no longer suffer random hunger checks. That is amazing. That is really nice. Takes 10 of these mill memories. Geological study hall. Gem inventory stack increased by one. That's actually really nice. Those are the gems here. Shots. Tainted well, holy water increases buff, laudanum add a stress resist buff. I don't know. Miasma, miasma orchard. Medicine herbs add a disease resist buff, antivenom adds a blight resist buff. I don't know. Maybe they're good for boss fights where you know that's gonna come. The red hook, expensive and doesn't do anything. The bank is crazy good. This is the best one and the one you should be getting. 5% interest per week means that at certain point you no longer have to worry about money. And that frees up the inventory for all sorts of other things, which escalates quite rapidly from there. Katakuro's camp, beneficial more torchlight, not really using it. Some food granted for free each week. That's just a puny amount of money. And 60 bust is a lot. Idle stress relief in town increased by 10 per week. This is very good. Puppet theater. Sanguine witness. This is also very, very important to get because this is helping us when more of them become... Uh, Affected by the blood, and they will. Out of the yellow hand, now we go into the ones that are unique. Crit and scouting chance for bounty hunters, grave robbers, and highwaymen. I don't use grave robbers and highwaymen a lot, so I don't know. Altar of the Light, Crusader, Vestal, Flagellant, Stun Resist, and Healing Skills. Very nice, but 200 deeds is a lot. Training Ring, Arbalist, Houndmaster, Man at Arms, Shieldbreaker, Musketeer, Accuracy, and Hit Points. Those are all. People I use a lot and it's a nice buff, but not something I'm gonna chase. It doesn't change the gameplay. The Athenaeum, Antiquarian, Occultus, Plague Doctor, Blight, Skill Chains, and Dodge. The Knowledge Curios, those are books and bookshelves. Heal 15 stress. That's really nice. That turns them into from crap to good. Performance all minus 10% stress, plus two speed, and finale. Plus two speed is awesome. Wow, I can do this one, but I don't want to. Really, I could. Plus two speed for Jesters is amazing. And outside of for fire. Two additional respite point if you have at least one Abomination, Hellion, or Leper in the party. I'd like to have those in my party. Great, so we're back in the hall here. Let's see who we have. Well, I can get one more Houndmaster. That's going to be nice. I will need to expand the roster, which will use all of our deeds. Word is traveling. Ambition is stirring in distant cities. We can use this. Oh, cartographer camp bonus apply even at zero torchlight. Oh, you get manners from endless mode, or the thing from the from beyond the stars. Okay. Okay, but do you know, Matsus? Do you know what kind of bonuses it is? Stress faster and clutter. That's fine. A lawman and his faithful beast. A bond 
forged by battle and bloodshed. By battle and bloodshed. Exciting. Do we have any supporters in the chat who we do not have uh, listed? Otherwise, we'll just select one of the older guys. This one, I think this very well could be a... I'm just going to wait a bit to see if there are anyone who uh, raises their hand. Higher loot, higher scouting chance, less chance of being surprised, plus crit. That sounds really nice. All right, I'm just going to wait a bit with naming you until we see... Spiked color, damage and bleed, but less healing received and less healing skills. And we can also get another one, but I have one already. Musketeer, I want the musketeer. How do I get a musketeer? That is pretty damn. Uh, will you do that again this summer? Uh, I assume you mean. I assume you mean. Um, uh, record a new episode. I might. I might. Well, I have been watching. I have finished my starter base and have hooked up 5.9 million iron to my train network for a full. Oh, that's nice. But show up on the stage. Show. It's a reskin of the Abelist. Yeah, there's a slight difference because some of the trinkets are different. Um, let me check something in Discord. Nope. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's get back in the game. Okay, we are... Let's see what kind of runs we have available. It's maybe time for us to uh, go against a boss fight. If there's a good uh, minus 15% damage. No, thank you. Why would I want less damage? Arbalest plus healing skills for the Arbalest. That might be really nice. I think we want to go for the, another round of the wield. What else? Still the disarming here. Yeah. That will not last long. Oh, right. For those 5.3 million... Uh, Loki, you need to get cured of your stupid disease. That's for sure. Creeping cough. We cannot have you. Let's have a look at... Also, you are in need of some... Ah, the jester should not go to the abbey. The jester should uh, go to the gambling hall, for example. There you go. Seems like a good place for a jester. Undrink it. Let's build a different setup for the wield but what I find is really important for the wield or in this case I want to have Barrett you will be paying for our run here who will tag along yeah I need to make sure that you get the right skill first that was a horrible mistake Uh, the gambling hall. Isn't that the... Is that the gambling hall? I was sure that it was the bar the way you need to give them a trinket. But, I mean, better safe than sorry. Because I thought it made sense that it was a gambling hall, but then I remembered that it didn't make any sense. Okay. The path is sacred. Yes. Santon, do we have you? Do we have you in here? Or Oliver? Uh, you should be in here. Uh, yeah, you are. You're here. You're a healer. Let's get you in here. You need, uh, need to go and get some exercise. So you'll be healing. Don't use the tavern at all if I can avoid it. The bad thing that happens there are really bad. You have a Santon. Yes, we do. So, the Antiquarian has a number of different characters that synergize well. For example, Sabri Guy, 
with repost can be worked really well so that really a lot of damage hitting here but will being returned that's one option another option is someone like ethan for example because he can take a beating and can dish out more damage and alternatively someone else who would like to get beat up <laughs> who could that be the man at arms i can't believe we don't have a man at arms yet i really oh i can't take my shield breaker because they are not very good in the wield because wield is poison or light resistant should we go without a stress healer for this this run we can do something like this There's no stun. And no, Sabrika is not very good because they're high, high resist. So I need someone who is good on against that. Might actually be our new... Here. We'll do that one. You're either in this position where you can stun or in this position where you can stress heal. We can kind of alternate that. Let's check some things. Anyone good in the wield? I don't think I have anyone who is good in the wield. Wield Adventure was the only one. That's Hapolas. But I don't want to use you. I want to save Hapolas last run of the normal ones for a big run. So I guess this is the run. We are going in here. Let's see. We want to, We need to make some money from this run for sure. I kind of like this. Doesn't deal more damage, but it has a better chance to hit. Yeah, massive heal. Hmm. Get down is back to. So that's helping on shuffling. I'm not going to take the festering. Mm -hmm. I don't want to use the get down. It's not really worth it. More speed, more dodge, but... You'll be protected all... Oh. Here, making sure we have the right ones. Definitely get these two. I don't need the this one, the guard dog, because I have one that can guard. That was easy. Get some skills. We are really running out of money here. We're down to exactly 10,000. Not good. Nothing in here. Yep. Let's look at... Protection and dodge if torch is below 26. I'm going to be heavily invested in low torch light. Wish we could get a bleed trinket for you. A party surprised and protection because why not? Yes. Here we'll have the usual, the stun chance. And the whistle. Here we'll have stun skill chance. Don't know. I don't have any healing either. But you're so bad at hitting with your skills, so I'll just take that one and leave one empty. Light resist might actually be worth it to take going into this. No, that's not. Let's say we did. Good. So that's trinkets, skills, armor. Stress and this one. We don't have, we can't afford it. We can't afford it. Damn it. Let's see. I want to get rid of all the ones that accidentally click on things. I know, I know, we have... Where is it? Where are you? Elendilo, here. 
We need to get rid of the lazy eye for Elendila. That's pretty bad. Good, and we're down to less than 9,000. Oh, 